hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will make this timer workable okay because for now this timer is just zero and zero so in the game view let's open up this scoreboard and as you can see in here we have this object and timer and in here we have this timer text right there okay so we're gonna create a separate script for this in the game scripts ui scripts go ahead and make a new c sharp script by the name of timer script okay then click on scoreboard canvas and let's drag and drop this script right here okay let's now open this up and on this script first of all we're gonna make a reference to our timer text and at the top make sure that you add using unity engine dot ui okay then Let's create a private float by the name of time remaining. This will be equals to 600 F by default, which means 10 minutes and seconds. Okay. Then let's go ahead and create a method by the name of update timer text. Okay, and in here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a time span. This is going to be a, by the name of time span. And then we're going to say time span dot from seconds. Let's pass the time remaining there. Okay, and now let's set the format for this. So we're gonna say timer text dot text equals to string dot format, and the format will go like this. First of all, we're gonna show zero, then d two, then. We can add curly brackets again and type one and then D two again, then time span dot minutes and then time span dot seconds. Okay, we're gonna show the minutes and seconds. All right, so this will be our format. You don't need to understand anything right here. Just simply type this as it is. This is just a format for the time. Then in the update method, what we're going to do is we're going to say that if the time remaining is greater than zero, it means that if time is remaining, then we're going to decrease the time by each second so time dot delta time okay and we're gonna call the update timer text method that's it and else if there is no time left okay we're gonna set the time remaining to zero and right here we're gonna end our game but for now let's not do it right here change this to capital T and at the top make sure that you add using system okay that is all you have to do for this now in here let's provide our timer text so if you open this up here is our timer text drag and drop that then we can click on scenes open up menu and let's start the game and test it out so let's start the game now as you can see the timer has started we have 10 minutes to play this game okay now with this added the next thing which we will be adding is our menu to stop the game okay so let's end this video right here 